I welcome the fact that the government has, in continuing COVID-19, uh, uh, the, the level three alert for up to another 12 days, has recognised that there will be a cost associated with that for business and that they have extended the wage subsidy scheme. That will be particularly important for the businesses in Auckland that can't employ people at the present time. And I welcome the extension of the leave provisions for those who have been tested for COVID-19 and for those who have shown a positive result. <clears throat> I want to remind people that the way that we can support our businesses is continuing to shop local. You can still get takeaways. Uh, you can do the click and collect and you can support local businesses in that way. In terms of the health messages, <clears throat> there are some very clear messages that I just want to repeat uh, for Aucklanders. If you're feeling unwell, please make sure you contact your GP uh, or you contact Healthline, and if they say you should be tested, please make sure you do get tested. Testing is the most certain way that we can determine whether somebody has contracted COVID and that we can contain <coughs> the spread of the virus. Um, I'd also suggest that, um, as we did last time, under level three, there are people out in the community that will feel lonely and isolated. Please make sure that with your family and friends in your social circle, that you contact those people, not directly, of course, in person, but by phone and give them support. Equally, uh, the Prime Minister's messages of being patient, being kind, being tolerant and acting reasonably. Overwhelmingly, Aucklanders responded to that call last time and I'm confident that they will do so again. But there are always exceptions to the rule, unfortunately. A further message, the last lockdown showed very clearly that our supermarkets will not run out of supplies. So my message to Aucklanders, Please don't panic buy, please don't hoard. We beat the virus again, and I'm really confident that we will beat it again this time. He waka eka noa, we are all in this together, let's work together to make sure we prevail and we can get back to a normal life for Aucklanders and for our businesses. Uh, there will be a cost for uh, those uh, 20 to 25 percent of businesses uh, that can't continue to employ workers, and that's where the wage subsidy will be absolutely essential. Uh, from Council's point of view, um, it is a much shorter period of time this year. <clears throat> we have already built in the loss of things like the, um, the dividends from Auckland International Airport and ports of Auckland, uh, but there will, there will definitely be a cost. And uh, I'll be having discussions again with the Minister of Finance once we've calculated what that cost may be uh, to see if there are ways in which the government can work with us. Uh, and what I've suggested to him already and publicly, um, you know, additional government support for some of our infrastructure projects so that we can keep those projects going, notwithstanding our loss of income. That means that we can generate jobs, we can help stimulate recovery and we can produce some long-term assets for the people of Auckland. So we will be having those discussions, uh, but our finance people over the weekend will be working to determine what the likely cost in terms of council revenue may be. We've already had to take some pretty uh, severe measures. Uh, we've laid off uh, 600 temporary and contract workers, and we're looking at downsizing probably by about 500 uh, full-time permanent positions. Uh, I think going further than that would have serious impacts on the ability of Council to deliver its services and to deliver that infrastructure, and we hope that, we, that, that it doesn't come to that. But we will do the work now that we have the time frame available, uh, that we know that we will be at level three. Uh, I'm very much relieved that we are not going into to level four. Uh, had that happened, uh, the implications would have been much more severe. And, uh, those implications, uh, the costs from last time, do reflect the fact that we had five weeks uh, at that total lockdown. This time, 12 days uh, under level three, uh, the impact will be less severe, uh, but 
level three will still be sufficient, according to the best information from the Ministry of Health, um, to, to curb the spread of COVID-19. Uh, uh, let me say, we, we know from the experience of Melbourne across the Tasman, that if you think that you can leave it for a while and maybe things will come right, the opposite happens. You get more uh, cases of contracted COVID, you get more fatalities, and in the end you still have to lock down and you have to do so in a much more severe way. So I'm satisfied that there is a balance there in finding level three, it's stopping the spread of the, the, the virus and with the assistance of the wage subsidy that we can mitigate some of the worst effects on our business people. But I do acknowledge the impact that it will have on particular businesses uh, that have had to, um, uh, to, to stop work and uh, I'm not making, making light of the cost that that has for businesses and those who are employed by them.